Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Uh, today is Saturday, October 8th, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, I got a little bit more of Romans today. Uh, Jumping ahead to Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 25. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the uh, pains of childbirth until now. Not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. All right, so... um. The, uh, the the key to kind of, well, it's not really key. It's not like there's a lot to uh, to uh, discern here that's hidden. But um, kind of what we got going on here is at the very beginning, verse 18, you know, he says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to with the glory that it is to be revealed to us. So he's, he's talking about what is at the present time and what is yet to be. So to, at the present time, what do we have? Sufferings. We have sufferings in the present time. Um, what is yet to be revealed to us? Uh, well, the, the the coming glory, the glory that is to be revealed. So there is a, a, a glory that is to be revealed. So we're talking about the resurrection, um, when we see God face to face, uh, when we are brought into everlasting life, when sin and death are dealt with and put away forever. So what we see is suffering. What we have yet to uh, receive in fulfillment, in, in, in fullness, is the resurrection. Um, and then at the very end, verse 25 here, um, well, verses 24 and 25, he says, Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Um, so there, there's then the difference about what we see and what we don't see, what we see now and what we, we don't see yet. Um, for in this hope we were saved, so the hope of the resurrection. Now, the hope that is seen is not hope. So we, <clears throat> we, we don't hope in what we see, which is a good thing because what do we see in the present time? Suffering. We see the, the sin running rampant, right? We, we, what, what the world looks like is that everything is fallen and in chaos. Like what Paul says, the creation was subjected to futility. Um, the creation is waiting to be set free. Um, the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only creation, but we ourselves. We groan inwardly um, as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. We're waiting for the resurrection, waiting for Jesus' return. Creation, us, everything. Uh, so that what we see is that. But uh, for, uh, for who hopes in what he sees? Well, yeah. <laughs> how, how can anybody have any hope in what they see in the world? I mean, you, there's no hope. <laughs> and, I mean, if you watch the news lately, uh, you'd agree. You know, if, if you are hoping for anything that you see going on in the world around you, uh, you're spinning your wheels. You know, there's no hope in that. Okay. But Paul says, if we hope for what we do not see, we hope for what Christ will bring to completion. We, we hope for the resurrection of the dead. We hope for the day that, that will bring all of this suffering to an end, that will bring everlasting life and, and the, the completion of our forgiveness and all this great stuff. We hope for that day, which is not seen now, at least not fully. You know, we see it uh, when we, uh, well, we, we, we um, 
comprehend it or we grasp it when we hear the word, when we take part in the sacraments of, of, of Christ. So we do get a taste of it, but we don't see it yet. Um, so we wait for it with patience. So um, the first part is where Paul says, you know, I, I, I don't consider the sufferings of the present time are worth comparing. So acknowledging that there are there are sufferings in the present, but you know what? You, you, they have they, they pale in comparison to what we have in store for us. So 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 awesome is what is waiting us that these sufferings, these present sufferings are, are what are they? They're, they're momentary. They're, they're fleeting, okay? Um, so we wait for what is to come with patience, patiently enduring the sufferings of the present while clinging to the hope of the things that are to come. And this basically is a nice little description of what our life as a Christian is. Um, living in, in the present sufferings of this day. Um, and, uh, you know, I got a, <laughs> oh, it's been a ongoing theme since Wednesday night. We talked about suffering in my, in uh, my Bible study class and it's just been kind of coming back and coming back and coming back. Um, and everything I've been doing since then, and it comes back today too, um, where, you know, you look out today and what we live in is suffering from one suffering to another. Um, you know, as I, I caught some Facebook posts and messages from, from friends, um, uh, in uh, in Alaska and Oklahoma and in all sorts of places, talking about the the sufferings that they that their family members are going through, and it's just it's heartbreaking, and it's just like wow, there's so much suffering all around, and and your heart breaks for these people, and and for all your loved ones who are going through it for for yourself or whatever you're going through the sufferings, um, but you know to to kind of reorient what you're seeing is. Yes, there are present sufferings, but what God has waiting for you, what God has prepared for you on that last day is beyond imagining, is beyond your wildest dreams, um, will make this present suffering just seem like nothing. Um, so we wait for it with patience. That's hard. It's hard to be patient, especially when you're suffering, especially when you're in the midst of suffering, when your loved ones are suffering. It's hard to be patient. Um, but we are called to, to be faithful, to trust in him. And so that's my, my prayer for you today, is, is for you to, to, to have that patience, to be able to live in that patience, knowing that um, you, know, you can't go by what you see. You know, don't place your hope in what you can see. Place your hope in what you do not see, but what you hear through the word, the promise of God delivered to you through the Holy Spirit, okay? The promise of Jesus Christ, uh, the promise that one day he will return and he will raise you to life everlasting and he will put to death every single suffering forever and ever. Um, so let that be what keeps you going. We'll get you through. Um, so that is that is what I, I hope for you today. Well, and every day, of course. All right. Well, let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you've kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right. Well, happy Saturday. Um, have a blessed Saturday. Have a wonderful day. Um, have you know? I hope you are able to uh, have that patience today. So whatever whatever happens, be hanging on. Um, whatever you're dealing with. Um, Trust in the Lord. Know that he, he is coming to deliver you from it. Um, wait for it with patience to the best of your ability. And you know what? Even if you can't, the Holy Spirit will be with you. He is, he is with you. And uh, he will bring you patience. Um, he, he will be your patience. Trust in, trust in him. So uh, have a great Saturday. Have a blessed Saturday. And uh, we'll see you back Monday. So until then. Peace be with you.